you like being on the El Fantasy Fair? <laughs> we just got here. So far, it's really wonderful. The costumes are incredible. Okay, really nice. Um, did you always wanted to become a writer? I did. Um, you know, I think I've written for about as long as I can remember. Um, when I was younger, I used to write all sorts of things, poems, stories, plays, songs. And as I got older, I think by the time I was in high school, um, <clears throat> I had narrowed it down to really only writing fiction, starting to write novels at that point. And how do you become a writer? Because it was something I knew I wanted to do for a long time. I studied it in school. I worked for a book publisher. I went to this graduate program. I took a lot of writing classes. Um, so I, I've sort of pursued the study of writing for a long time, but I think the main thing is to read a lot of books, to read the kind of things that you love and that you would, you would be interested in writing, and to kind of go about the world with a sense of curiosity that allows you to um, experience, experience things fully and realize when something is valuable to put into your own stories. And have you got some advice for like future writers? The best advice I ever got was um, from someone who, when I was at a point with my first novel, I knew it wasn't any good and I wanted to give up. And I had a better idea for my second novel. And I maybe had two chapters left to go in this first novel and I said, I'm just going to quit, I'm going to give up, I'm going to move on to the next idea, it's better, the, this next book will be the one. And she said, um, finish your first book so that you know that you can do it. And I didn't understand at the time. I, I went ahead, I finished it, I did what she said. I didn't realize it until I was writing the, the end of the next book when I knew this one isn't any good either. I'm going to just give this up and start, and I've got a better idea for the next one. But at that point I knew that I could finish it and that I had to finish it because I think you reach that point with every book. You, it's very easy to get inspired and to write a little bit of a story, to write a, to write a hundred pages of a story, and then inevitably you're going to hit a wall, and you'll realize, you know, that you've lost your inspiration somewhere along the way. And what I know now is that I have to finish every first draft, and I'll always feel horrible about it, but you can always go back and make it better. Was it easy for you to find someone who would publish a book? It took me a long time. I mean, I sent manuscripts out and short stories out, and. I have been submitting contests and things like that for 10 years, um, probably got a hundred rejections. All it takes is one person to say yes, and so I found that one person and um, he made everything happen for me, but I had to look for a really long time to find him. It's, it's kind of like falling in love, I guess. You just need one. <laughs> well, I've read your book and it's about angels and things that normally don't exist. Do you believe in angels? Um, I, I believe in the power of their stories, you know, I, I think I'm very open to the idea that they exist. I haven't had a concrete experience with one yet, um, but I believe in being open to it and I like the idea that they could exist. How did you came up with the story? Um, first, Luce came first yeah. and I, all I knew at the beginning was that this very important angel had fallen in love with her. So she had to possess um, a lot of incredible stuff deep within her, but I didn't... Well, when I read your book, the first thing I thought of was Twilight. And what do you think about that? Um, when, the, when Fallen first came out, I got that comparison a lot, at least in the US. And these days I don't get it as much anymore. I think that um, maybe as as more of the books have come out and people have gotten deeper into the story, the comparison is less obvious. Um, what I feel about it is that every young adult writer, every, everyone who's writing sort of a paranormal love story has, you know, owes Stephanie Meyer a huge debt of gratitude. We're all standing on her shoulders. She made it possible to publish these books, I think, and she, she opened up an appetite for these kind of stories. So the readers who fell in love with Twilight books now are hungry for so many other things. Well, um, I saw a trailer of the movie Fallen. What do you think about it, that it's going to be filmed? Oh, I think maybe you saw a trailer for the book. They did a yeah. book trailer. Um, the movie, I'm, I'm thrilled by it. I got to meet the guys who are producing it and um, I think they have a real sense of the tone and the mood that are important in the books, so 
it'll be really exciting to see what they do with it. And, and of course, it's a little bit scary. Um, it's kind of like releasing this part of yourself over to someone else and saying, do whatever you want with it. Okay. Well, I'm actually really curious what is going to happen in the next book. The third book is called Passion, and it is, um, it's not exactly a prequel because <clears throat> it picks up right where Torment left off, so if any readers have read all the way through to Torment, you know that there's a, a little bit of a cliffhanger ending at the end of Torment. Fallen picks up at, right at that precise moment, so you will see exactly what happened to Luce at the end of Torment. Um, but from there, it looks back across 6,000 years of her history. So we get to see her in many, many different lives before that, all of her experiences with Daniel and how they've shaped um, the way that both of them are today. So I think the Fallen and, Tor and Torment posed a lot of questions, left a lot of things unanswered. Passion is really about answering and delivering a lot of those um, that backstory. So I, it's a very, it was a very fulfilling book to write, and I think it'll be probably the most fulfilling so far to read. Well, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you guys very much. Great interview.